Hey everyone, the Unpro Pro here, and welcome back to another episode of the Game Editor series. <coughs> okay, so last time we went over <coughs> the view locking kind of system thing, and since we can only go two views high, why don't we just make something that you know would be uh, adding a purpose to having two views high? I mean, I mean. so I'm just gonna kind of add like something that's where you can just keep on going up here. Just, just to test the view. And anyways, this episode is actually going to be about setting up, I don't know, uh, enemies maybe. I haven't actually thought of it yet. Then again, that is why they call me the Unpro Pro, because I'm very Unpro. <laughs> so uh, anyways, <clears throat> let's go over what we already did. We we fixed the uh, s we fixed like the wall collision. Uh, jumping is all good. You notice how if you're falling, you can't jump. So that's good. <laughs> um. And we also went over score and the viewing, like the view movement and all that. See? And now it stops going up. Okay, so we're getting there. We are uh, really getting there. We've also limited how fast you can fall. So, uh, yeah, now, actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do backgrounds. All right, I have a background that I made, and you can, uh, you can get it, you can, you can get it, like, anywhere you want. This is going to be incredibly abstract. Did I say anywhere you want? Jeez. Okay, uh, okay guys, I'm going to say something. Sometimes I actually intentionally act stupid just, you know, to keep things more interesting. Anyways, it's in the <laughs> it's in the description, so yeah, check that out if you need to. Okay, my documents pictures. And I think it was BG seamless. You can actually get this in the description, and I'm going to put it at the top left corner of the view. Now, I'm going to set its Z-depth all the way down. <clears throat> then I'm going to go to normal right here, and set to infinity. So now, as you can see, it's like that. This is ridiculously abstract. <laughs> this is very abstract, though. So, um, <laughs> you got brown and green. This is probably like the most mismatched color on the planet. But then again, this is just for... Um, tutorial purposes so um, in the future I'll make a different background but this wasn't planned so you know what we're gonna keep this just because of its random is it I don't know I'm not gonna do <laughs> I really don't know what I'm gonna do so um, <laughs> now in the, okay go to add like I just did and then click draw actor and then click script editor now you want to do x equals view dot x divided by 2 y equals view dot y divided by 2 <laughs> now when you start this, you can see how it like it, it appears behind. It like it's it's like it's behind the uh, it's behind everything else. Now the weird part about all that is like, well actually it makes sense. Um, if you want it to be like if you want it to scroll slower, you actually lower the two. You can do like 1.5 and. 1.5, and if you want to make it scroll faster, you can do divided by 5 and something like that, and then it would still appear as if it's somewhat behind it, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the uh, 1.5 value. Remind. Okay, so far so good. That's awesome. So there's a background for you guys to uh, be randomly with, I guess. You know what? Let's actually change this. Let's change uh, the color of this. I'm going to show you how to do a change, changing colors now. Um, go to add and then click create actor and then click script editor on the uh, the tiles actor. Then you type in let's let's make it let's make them green I guess so R equals zero, <laughs> B equals zero, uh, R is red, B is blue and G is uh, green. So G equals two five five. It's already set to two fifty five by default, but yeah. <laughs> yay! We got some incredibly random stuff going on here. Actually, it looks like grass. That doesn't look that bad. Only with a green skeleton thing in it. <laughs> now, if you want to make the background scroll... Actually, you know what? There's something else. Oh, yeah, you can also right-click and then click lock. And then you can... I'm going to do that, actually, to this actor. As soon as I fix its position a little bit. There we go. Right there. Right-click and click lock. Now you can click it and drag, and you won't have to worry about, like, moving it or anything. Uh, anyways, I'm actually going to make him go farther into... Dag nabbit. I'm making uh go farther into the ground. If he if he locks around like that, just press left shift once. And then press it again after you're done. 
Okay, so now he's like more into the ground. So that's good. So now it looks like more authentic, I guess. Yeah. Um, by the end of this tutorial, I will also have made my own tiles, probably. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not yet. I really might. I actually might. So anyways, so far we got a background here. This is pretty cool. We got, we changed the color of the, uh, the ground. Now we got a little caveman guy running around with risk of falling off a deadly death edge. If you notice, you can stand in like a corner and you'll start eventually like, falling off of it. No. <laughs> and you can still like move around down here too if you want. But anyways, <clears throat> so there's that. Uh, is there anything else that I should really go over with right now? Should I go over anything else? I'm trying to think if there is anything. <laughs> Let's take a little, make a little room thing up here. Um, I don't know, just kind of making like a little room. Oh, and if you can't, if you want to see the view, just make the transparency a little bit darker like that or just make the transparency like farther like that and uh... and it'll show you the view make it about that high about yay high and yeah kinda make it like that why? I don't know man you can also do this to test your collision so let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> As you can see it's still dark you can also do that to keep your background uh, dark if you want to. I'm actually going to keep it like that because you can both see the view and it makes the background darker. Also making it appear slightly distant. Well, slightly more distant. Okay, so now that we've got jumping and all that good stuff down, let's try running through this. Yay, we can run through it. Which is good. That means you can't, you know, you don't have to worry about, like, your caveman fitting in spaces that are equal to his size because we're using a collider. And the collider handles the collision for him. See I me? Mean? And yeah. So there you go. There's more to it right there. And whatnot. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I really like the fact that you get to land in the ground. You know, that's how most video games look. And yeah. So there you go. That's this tutorial, I guess. Color changing. Uh, Jeez, I don't even know what I'm going to title this. Uh, backgrounds, color changing, and yeah, uh, yeah, background and color changing, I guess. <laughs> Maybe just have them like a little dag nabbit, <laughs> a little higher, like that. Uh, yep, that's good. All right, guys, and uh, see you. Oh yeah, we also went off running earlier. <laughs> All right, guys.